study for this snapshot, global scenario of land degradation. The same thing is repeated that soil is eroding faster and is forming on more than one third of the world's soil. I would like to go through some of the international organizations, their anxiety, their concerns about the degradation or quality of deterioration of land. First of all, land degradation is the How food and agricultural organization sees the land degradation? Land degradation costs at an estimated US dollar 30 billion annually per year. So this is a matter of concern. We are not merely concerned about the land degradation, but the US organization, the international organization are very much worried and anxious about the quality of their theories of land. The consequences of land degradation is nothing but reduced agricultural productivity, socio-economic problems, uncertainty, food security to the new law. Some of the African countries are still suffering from food issues. Not the Indian people, but, this, but the African countries they are suffering from uh, food issues and limited development and damaged ecosystem. You have a bit new point on land degradation. Because land degradation is a major threat to biodiversity and ecosystems. And it speaks for itself, that statement of UNDP speaks for itself and self explanation Whose justification? What health organizations justification on land dictators? Because land dictators have accelerated during the 20th century. And now we are living in the first quarter of the 20th century. Land dictating dictator due to development. And the, the, the scale of development and the combined pressures of agricultural and livestock production and in over cultivation, over grazing, everything is over. In land, we usually we are concerned about three things. One is issues, overeating and under. So there is a question of under. Because you know we are living in a country where the population has already crossed 140 crores. So for India, land is a matter of course. Because the agricultural land or the productive land is very good. Indian perspective. 25% of India's total land is undergoing desertification, while 32% is facing degradation that has affected its productivity, critically affecting the livelihood and food security of millions across the world. So it is not like that. Only Rajasthan has desertification. You can go to the website of the Minister of Agriculture Government of India that some of the areas in India in addition to Rajasthan, parts of Haryana, the Royal Sumer region of Andhra Pradesh and Gujarat and Madhya Pradesh, they are now facing negativities because they have the rocky activities. Very swiftly, I am passing through the other side. Because this is the common information of the geographers. There are different types of land degradation. For different types of land degradation, different processes are operating in the and regional variations. Like water erosion, I am not going into detail. Sea soil erosion, splash erosion. It is very region specific. Because you know, we have got a statement that India is a country of unity and diversity. Exhibiting many more physical features and cultural factors. So, India can be recognized in terms of its physical diversity. So, keeping in view the physical diversity, there are regional variations of land degradation. And for each and every type of land degradation, 
Divine processes are responsible for the respective languages in a particular region. Big erosion, dull erosion, slip erosion, weak erosion. So each and every type of erosion and of degradation is region species. Chemical degradation, biological degradation, fertility erosion. So this snapshot gives you an overview of the typology of land degradation all over the So what are the major causes which are responsible for land degradation in India? The most important cause is deforestation.
So, what do you do? I mean, should we stop? No. But there should be a sustainable management in the mining. Say, for example, running on phone printing, first thing. In addition to legal mining, there are lots of illegal mining. I mean, the illegal sand miners, they, are, they do list whatever about the environment, land subsidy, etc. But mining, mining is one, mining sector is one of the important sectors of economy, but that should be sustained. And reckless mining has led to not very in but in other parts. Development of industries and other values. Maybe in the developing country, particularly in India, there is an increasing tendency of urbanization. The number of lots of small and medium towns are coming. I mean, in a seminar, I said a couple of months back in North Bengal University. Some of these speakers, they are talking about the low degree of urbanization in West Bengal, particularly North Bengal. But, I mean, when my turn comes, I categorically mention that I am heading in the urbanization. Because, whenever UN is talking about the restoration of the major ecosystems of the world, how can we encourage urbanization? Because urbanization, I mean, immediate urbanization are the main country for environmental degradation in general and land degradation in particular. Government is talking about smart city. I am not against this one. But my view is to make a city smart, thousand or two thousand crores rupees are required. But by spending two thousand crores rupees, we can make two thousand villages smart. So we should talk about small villages, not the smart city. So, major types and causes of soil percentage by share of major types and causes of soil degradation. Any like chemical degradation, water erosion, and wind erosion, one way in chemical activity, percentage share of land degradation worldwide. Human activities causing soil degradation, deforestation, 30%, overgrazing, 95%. Agriculture 28%, oil well, gathering 7%, and interest less than 1%. That means deforestation and overgrazing are sharing the major portion of land. What are the causes of mining? We can not think about the uh, worldwide scenario of land degradation. Worldwide, the amount of profit per capita has declined. In I have already pointed out that if you see the world population scenario, Asian countries are the largest one. Asian countries give the world population the largest share. If you see the map, that it will show you the large and big red maps. And recently India has Cross China. China ran, I mean, China was ranked first in terms of population number. Now India is number one. At least India is contributing to the population. And large population means there is which will exert on the means of livelihood. I mean, I mean if you if you come there, say for any big railway junction. You will find lots of people. You will find 
that depend on the protein practice which are going to adopt, which we are going to adopt. Wind breaks. I think you know you are quite familiar with the center breaks or wind breaks. That is stabilization of centrifuge or uh, stabilization so we will practice the uh, center breaks. Different types of methods of controlling erosion, water erosion, running erosion control. All these methods, I am going to do the slim bank erosion control, land slip erosion control, parking erosion, parking But the erosion is only red drops in a particular way. Control of swing deposition, control of soil salinity, alkalinity, water treatment, manuring, gypsum treatment, window fertilizers, cropping pattern. But this is control erosion, wind erosion control, I mean I am not going to be done, stubble mulch. Crop recipe is stubble and stop, right? We are familiar with these things. I am not going to be able to stop it. You have to find out what you have to do, you have to do it. 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 So, uh, I have already come to the flag end of my deliberation. I have already pointed out that overuse, misuse, and underuse of soil are main causes responsible for soil erosion. Land cannot be expanded. But the existing land should be used in such a manner that can sustain for long years for our survey. And one of the important points is common property resources. I mean, the economists, the geographers, and the planners and decision makers, they are now uh, thinking about the wide use of common property resources. So, this is circle of planning. So, far as development is concerned, we are falling in the trap of this year's circle of but they have an urgent need for development, if it means new, the large chart of operation, and there is, uh, there is a compulsion for environmental protection. So we are in the middle, we are in the vicious side. We have to carry out the development, keeping in view the population pressure, keeping in view the demands, the desires, and aspirations of the people. But at the same time, we have to protect the environment. So, we are in the middle between earth and compass. We are in the vicious side. We are in the central point. So, how poverty comes? I mean, non sustainable land management, inappropriate use of marginal land, reduced per capita land resources, land degradation, reduced productivity, increasing population. I mean, a number of factors in combination will contribute to poverty. So, soil erosion of land degradation affects land use and rural development. So, at the best, soil erosion. Soil erosion means loss of topsoil. If soil fertility is lost, then there will be decline in soil fertility. If fertility is declined, then there will be decrease in crop productivity. If crop productivity decreases, rural development will be Land use management. I think this is nothing but the sequential development of land. First, you have to develop the land resources, identify the process of land, issue, and implement it. So, there are, you can suggest many things, but how you can act? How you can implement that matters? There will be institutional efforts. I mean, only individual cannot play a significant role in life. There should be institutional effort. I mean, uh, a number of organizations in India are there which are uh, engaged in dealing with land related issues. Because 
Central Asia is something Sindhu, Central Soil is something Karnataka, so many organizations are there. And I see here the apex body at the national level, Indian Council of Agricultural Research, centrally and uh, through their regional centers are engaged in dealing with the challenges. So, what my feeling is, I think the personal thing is, prevent illegal effort. So, this is our priming into nothing but what an eye was. How to prevent illegal effort? Theoretically, it is possible. But in a country where population is 142 crore, how can you prevent illegal effort? You go to Kandavas, 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 you so that particular type of forest ecology is getting converted into urban ecology. Agricultural ecology is converted into urban ecology. Laguerian forest ecology, forest ecology is converted into the establishment of new urban centers, industrial centers. So that ecological conversion you have to do. Linking soil conservation and management with climate change. So we have to keep in mind the climate change. Now If you formulate strategy for any kind of management, it cannot, it cannot work for the next 100 years. You have to review your management options uh, every 10, 15 or 20 years. So if you can meet the climate change and climate variability, you have to meet the soil conservation and introduce integrated soil water. So that is the last option. There should be one answer for last option that you can just find out. So thank you all for your presentation. Thank you, Professor Dana Sir, for his very important answers to all of us. May I request our speaker, Professor Kunal Kumar Das, Senior Scientist, Dhanadhan Isro. Before going to that, I want to say some word about Sir. Dr. Kethi Das is a professor and senior scientist at the Bar 44 years, staying in the Indian of the IRS, India Place Research Organization, so he has experience of 32 years as a technical in forestry and forest management. He has so many activities about place, organization, place management. He also engaged in different uh, countries and India also, especially Silet, Bangladesh. Um, He uh, published 20 papers, uh, published 67 scientific profile papers in the chapter in the book and provided by the CPSG in the PSC and PG student training. Shatas is a life member of the US Academic Association, free of labor. INCA, ISRS, Forest and Urban Development Institute. This is very small introduction about Dr. Sidas. He has so many working with me. Please stop. Please stop. Now, I request our honorable guest, Dr. Sidas, for this. Thank you. Hello, Jai 
guys are also providing the information with respect to the changes taking place in our our software. So for example, this is the forest in India, Amazon India. Now you see that in the Amazon area. So, like that, the video is not working. Now, you see that the kind of disaster taking place for it can be captured, this information can be captured very effectively using your satellite. So, it's giving you at a real time information of the things happening over there. So, you see here, things are there, one volcano is passing here. So 
These are two national parks. This is a satellite data. If you have had the satellite data over visual ground, Thank 
provide you the very accurate which is otherwise not possible using any which is available with us these days. This is Java flow. Java flow would be to know correctly what is the extent of the flow. It is something like this. So, we have had to see that this is the flow. Now, what is going to happen there in 2023 and beyond? You see that the taking place in the map, the weird discussion this morning, what are you going to be doing? So, these days, you know, that we are going to be doing this. So, what you are getting is a map which is called a digital map. And these digital maps can be created and created using your LiDAR. So, this LiDAR and also many other See, how people can help in uh, actually generating a very good, very good map, uh, which is actually providing you with correct information on the problem. Now, you see that in the meantime, what happens here is that 2023 onwards, the use of satellite data to reduce. That is the We based on that, we find that many more things that we do with the the data data will take place. Of the cracker, what you find here, not many crackers there. So these crackers 
you can do that. So you can measure the validity. So we see that there are one system. So we see the GIS system provider. They are coming so nicely that you are able to measure this data. Okay, that, 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 like that. And also you can find out this thing like that. What is the terrain complexity in this particular area? Now you know that there is no C. So C is not there, so zero value is not there. So you have to take on the core of the this particular mass. Okay, just to relate it to that. Okay, so it can be updated like that using product. Now this takes you know, what you find here, this is the actually complex. Of this particular area, if you try to create a profile of this, you can do it very easily. So, so here also, this, this is a uh, complexity of all the things like that. City here you can jump the So like that. So what is the market? Market is actually very much right. There is no doubt about that. So you are going to get a 30 billion dollar market. I mean, they can take a higher order to do that. What I mean to say? This is a very, very important area where you get to know. This is the most interesting GIS or whatever is there, that navigation system, or you can say, uh, say, geospatial technology. A lot of market is there. If you get a training, <coughs> you get a job, you shot, you go to um, get a very good job. Anyway, so I mean, these are rosy in this area. Now, how you can go into that? There are many training institutes in India. And one of the training institutes is this one, the Indian Institute of Remote Sensing, of where, okay, we are providing all kinds of training to the people from different target groups. And they are getting training there, and so I have to understand, as far as I understand, that they are getting a new job, because that is very important. Similarly, you see that this. This is the symbiosis is also there. This symbiosis is there. That my understanding is also there. Hey, these are there. So these are very, very active areas where the geospatial technology is the training is provided to the people. And people can go there and So I wanted to show you this one. You know. So thank you very much. Thank you very much for inviting me for the 
Then when we go for a uh, line of thought, and that is, we can piece on the whole thing in the This is the main technology. Then the other technology is the membrane separation technology, where we can pass the gas through a membrane and what we need is the whole is directed from it. Right. Then the next method is algal based technology. So in algal based technology, what you can do? can pass through the biogas into a, a, a bag or molecule bag which you can close up an algae, algae like a spirulina, like which we call it as a pseudo-spirulina, or a gorilla, you can just add it to it and they will take the carbon dioxide right? and <coughs> when the, all the carbon dioxide is there, it can dissolve and it will be utilized by the bacteria. By the algae, and we get concentrated DNA. And next is the cryogenic separation. That is, by supercooling, what you can do is you can contaminate all the gases that are in DNA, and you can ultimately concentrate DNA. Right? Now, now what are the advantages of Number one, you can improve efficiency, you can do it. Second, you can improve the Third, that the biogas production can be increased, then you can reduce the payload emission 